It's 10 o'clock, and for the first time in months, the night is young in Kansas City. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Stevens. And I'm Carolyn Long. With COVID numbers dropping across the metro, Mayor Quentin Lucas is relaxing some restrictions at bars and restaurants. Yeah, they are now able to stay open past midnight. There's also no limit on capacity, but customers still have to be six feet apart and wear a mask when they're not eating or drinking. KCTV5's Betsy Webster joins us live now from Charlie Hooper's in Brookside. Betsy. Just a few months ago, 10 o'clock was closing time. So how's the crowd there tonight? Well, it's not as busy as it was at 6 o'clock when I was here earlier, but there's a pretty decent crowd. And, you know, we don't know what it's going to look like at 2 when they have to close at 3. But I'll tell you, with the kitchen open until 2, these extra three hours, they say, account for about a quarter of their sales. The neon sign signaling a 3 a.m. close is accurate again for the first time since fall. It gives us a little bit of normalcy. It's been about a year and to, get, to have things kind of slowly ink back to, you know, normal business hours is good for us. The near full house we saw at the dinner hour is still smaller than the old days with tables and stools spread out as required. And some customers say they won't be taking advantage of the later hours anyway. Once you start having a few drinks and you start talking to people and you're letting those walls down that you're not going to be as safe later at night. Patty Thompson says she's in bed by midnight, but her daughters will likely make use of the later hours and she's fine with that. Hopefully we can all be responsible and adhere to the protocols so that it doesn't become a problem. Now you'll notice that they still have tables set aside just for their to-go operation. They've got the packaging and separate tables set up for the different delivery apps. They know that that is something that's not going to go away. In fact, just this week they expanded by putting beer on their DoorDash app. They're hoping to eventually add uh, sealed to-go cocktails to that app, but they still have to come up with some better packaging than this right now. You may remember that Mayor Lucas added to-go alcohol as something that was allowed at the beginning of this pandemic. That continues to be allowed through the end of the emergency order on May 1st. He would like to eventually make that permanent, but that hasn't gone before the city council yet. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Very interesting changes this weekend and changes ahead. Betsy, thank you for that update.